हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम नेहा अंतर प्रोफेसर नेहा अंतर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बायो साइंसेस आई एम एस कैसेपर यूनिवर्सिटी कोर्सेस कैंपस टुडे वी विल डिस्कस प्रोक्रेटिक सेल व्हिच इज अ टॉपिक ऑफ बैक्टीरियोलॉजी सब्जेक्ट इट्स अ बेसिक टॉपिक एज बैक्टीरियोलॉजी इफ यू स्प्लिट दैट सब्जेक्ट इन टू पार्ट बैक्टीरियोलॉजी बैक्टीरिया प्लस लॉजी लॉजी मीन्स टू स्टडी एंड बैक्टीरिया मीन्स टू बैक्टीरिया to the study of bacteria or the science which deals with the study of bacteria is known as bacteriology now comes prokaryotic cell which is the basic of bacteriology as that subject is totally depends on bacteria study of bacteria prokaryotic cell it is a primitive cell or a unicellular cell it is a greek word if we split this word prokaryotic into two parts then we came we get pro and karyo pro means primitive or before and karyo means nucleus nut or kernel so the cell which is having primitive nucleus or not well defined nucleus is known as prokaryotic cell if this cell is a simple but the tough one basically it this cell is divided into two parts external structure and internal structure so now so now we study or we start prokaryotic cell prokaryotic cell as i have told you pro means before and primitive kary means nut kernel which that is in a part of a cell is nucleus it is a cell which lacks membrane bound nucleus it is smaller in structure and simpler than eukaryotic cell because eukaryotic cell is a uh, is a uh, you can say late advanced cell evolved cell eukaryotic cell is a well defined nucleus new well defined nucleus means which is having a nuclear pore nuclear membrane nucleoplasm and where chromatin material is present but in prokaryotic cell you didn't get any specialized structure like nucleus you can uh, you can uh, you can see here in the figure in the center of the figure this one nucleoid or genetic material chromatin is lying in the cytoplasm there is no fixed place or and special structure present for this chromatin material prokaryotic cell as carl was in 1977 defined prokaryotes into two taxonomic domains this is first one is bacteria and second one is archaea before this we uh, we study that Uh, you bacteria or archaea bacteria in previous time these two talks uh, these two taxonomic uh, domains uh, bacteria and archaea but at present this is further classified and then converted into three domain system that is bacteria archaea and eukaryote we study archaea and bacteria and one one fragment and eukaryotes in another fragment as eukaryotes has having well defined nucleus and other membrane bound organelles which prokaryotic cell lacks these the difference between archaea and archaea bacteria and bacteria or you can say the difference between these domains is just a, a basic difference of chemical and chemical difference or you can we can say bio their cell wall or structural physical structure is dif- different and different biochemically as bacterial cell wall is consists of peptidoglycan whereas archaea bacterial cell is lack cell di- here cell division occurs basically through binary fission the single cell and larger chromatin material divides new chromatin material divides cytoplasm divides and, and then give two daughter cells genetic material is snaked in the cytoplasm 
you can say if we study the structure of prokaryotic cell from outer to the inner side first we see that green strand you are saying a green strand that is flagella then you came to know came to see capsule layer then this yellow one is cell wall green one is plasma membrane then inside there is a cytoplasm which is blue in color you uh, you can see here ribosomes the here 70 as ribosomes are present plasmid pili are also present and nuclear nucleoid or circular dna now we will study prokaryotic cell in detail prokaryotic form and function prokaryotic cell is divided into external and internal external in external part we study appendages appendages are flagella pili membrane next one is glycogalax capsule slime layer after that in the external structure comes cell envelope here you can see written outer membrane in bracket as not all bacteria possesses outer membrane all bacteria possesses cell wall and cell membrane but not all bacteria possesses outer membrane then comes internal structure which consists of cytoplasm ribosomes inclusions nucleus chromosome actin cytoplasm sorry actin cytoskeleton and endospore mesosomes and others membrane bound organelles here are absent now first we study appendages that are surface appendages as many these these bacteria how they infect or harm people or animals there must be certain structure present on their surface which is able which is capable to uh, to harm mammals animals so these surface appendages there are different types of appendages like fimbri uh, as we have studied in flow chart flagella pili etc is you can see here in this figure there are long thread like structures are present these are known as flagella these flagella are, are present or helps bacteria to move in aqueous solution or to adhere solid to adhere to solid surfaces so some prokaryotic prokaryotes have distinct appendages that allow them to move about or adhere to solid surfaces consist these flagella or appendages are consist of strands of proteins like flagella is flagella strands having flagellar protein tube tubulin proteins etc flagella it's a long thin extensions that allow some bacteria to move about freely in aqueous environment singular term in in singular term it is known as uh, it said to be flagellum next come axial filament that is also known as endoskeleton as you can see in this figure there is a spiral bacteria or spider sheet there is a blue line that is a endoskeleton which provide wavy motion of movement to bacteria so wind around bacteria causing movement in waves next come fimbri fimbri is uh, just like pili small fine appendages or we can say sh short fine appendages most gram negative bacteria possess that appendages gram positive bacteria lack whereas gram negative bacteria have fimbri there is a no role in motility but fimbri help bacteria to adhere to solid surfaces major factor is providing virulence the virulence means the disease the ability of the bacteria to cause disease here this bacteria if the bacteria having fimbri in maximum number so the so that bacteria have maximum ability to cause infection in a human beings or animals next come pili pili also uh, like uh, fimbri but there is a difference that the difference is the tube pili are larger than fimbri but smaller than flagella these are usually used for movement gapling hooks and 
the main function of pili is it is used in conjugation and in sexual reproduction method to it is used to transfer plasmid singular is pilus as in see this image this is bacterial cell this is pilus and this is adhesive tissue these adhesive tip are getting attached to host cell receptors the receptors are present on host cell in next figure you can see the difference between pili and fimbri these red cells are pili and these small yellow one are yellow fine strands of fimbri here you can also see the this pink strand is flagella that is a long structure the middle section is this one is pili making contact between two different bacterial cells and these other hair like appendages are fimbri next come glycocalyx after flagella femdi then comes the outer layer of glycocalyx some bacteria not all bacteria some bacteria have an additional layer outside the cell wall which is known as glycocalyx this comes in two forms that is slime layer and capsule slime layer is a, as you can see in this figure and the difference you can see here capsule has having rigid and solid surface where the slime level is loosely strand so here is this is the difference slime layer is made up of glycoproteins which are loosely associated with cell wall slime layer causes bacteria or help cell uh, causes bacteria to adhere to solid surfaces and helps prevent the cell from drying out as there is a the basic uh, example we where we can see the slime presence of slime layer is the dental plaque in dental plaque the uh, most basic bacteria streptococcus mutans having slime layer it allows it accumulated in tooth enamel cavity where it accumulates here it accumulates and trapped other bacteria present in mouth and forms a cavity which convert into a dental plaque next one is capsule capsule is polysaccharide family attached to the cell wall capsules also adhere to solid surfaces and provide nutrients to the anti nutrients in the environment adhesive power of capsule is a major factor in initiation of bacterial disease capsule also protect bacteria from being uh, phagocytized by cells of the human your host immune system so you can see the difference this layer is loosely attached this is compact layer is family attached both you can see it is made up of glycoprotein and it is made up of polysaccharides so here are outer or internal structure of prokaryotic is completed thank you friends